Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got some great feedback on the Panasonic GX85, or I think it's the GX80 in some parts, um, and the GX7 Mark II, I guess, in parts of Europe. Fred Gunnarsson writes in, and he says, I have both the GX7 and the GX8. It would be nice to have IBIS using 4K video. My 12 to 35, my 35 to 100, 42.5, all have lens uh, have OIS in the lens, so I don't really notice it, but it would be nice on my 7 to 14 millimeter and the fisheye. Technically, I could switch to 1080p and get IBIS, but once you shoot 4K, you can never go back. And uh, I do understand that sentiment. I, uh, having shot it and shooting it regularly, like right now, I don't like having to go back to 1080. I do like the articulating screen better than the tilt screen. Uh, there were many times I shot low vertical images at ground level and the articulating screen came in handy. Weather sealing is actually kind of nice if you live in a place like the Pacific Northwest. We had something like 140 days of rain last winter. Need I say more, not having a mic input kind of sucks. Do uh, I do use an external mic whenever I shoot serious video, mostly because I can use a dead cat on the mic to keep the wind noise down. I also need a mic input for interviews using a radio lapel mic. Of course, if you're really serious about your audio, it's not that big a deal to use an external recorder and clapper. They say in Europe the GX85 will be called the GX7 Mark II. When you look at the specs, it's easy to see why. Basically, you're getting a GX7 without an anti-aliasing filter and 4K video. The button and wheel layout looks more like a GX7 than a GX8. I shoot with both my GX7 and GX8 and can't tell the difference between the still photos. That's interesting. They are both very good quality. The GX7 has a 1 360th sync speed, which is nice when shooting with strobes. The GX8 syncs up to 1 250th, while the GX85 only syncs to 1 1 60th. If you're a hardcore pro that uses strobes, this may be a deal breaker, but how many pros use Micro Four Thirds? brackets besides myself. Well, I do. I shoot my G7 for lots of stuff. When I shoot video, I always grab the GX8. The GX8 video will hold up just about any camera, will hold up to just about any camera made. You would have to spend quite a bit more money to get anything much better. On a bright sunny day, video from the GX8 is simply amazing. And I would wholeheartedly concur with that simply because I, I, it's a similar, if not identical video coming out of the G7. So great feedback from Fred Gunnarsson. Thanks very much, Fred. Uh, kind of a mini review on the GX8 and the GX7 uh, and some thoughts on the GX85 and uh, or the GX80 or the GX7 Mark II, depending on where you're buying that camera. So uh, what do you guys think? What are you thinking about, um, what do you think about Fred's feedback? Um, what do you think about the GX85 and its spot in the Panasonic lineup? Um, what is it appealing to you? Leave some comments below. Let's discuss the uh, GX85 a little bit. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks again, Fred, and we'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.